your car, just like Shamdha Agni, the fire which is which is grown up, which is grown to a good extent. Yedham Sri Bhattasat Purte. Bhattasat Purte reduces to action. Yedham Sri, the dry fever. Just as a fire which is grown to a good height, it is able to reduce to ashes all the dry fuel which is put in it. In the same way, Katha, in the same way, Jnana Dhimi, the fire of the knowledge of self, Bhattasat Purve, it reduces to action what Sarva Karma all of our actions. He says to Arjun, he feels what he says. This is only what happens today. So I would rather say, normally we need not be bothered what happens later, let it happen when we think so. So nobody has seen, so each one has given his own concept. And all concepts are based on our knowledge of this world. So we use some similes and we try to explain. So how it does and all that thing, how the jnana works, how the karma is going away. These are all things which are not open. When we do not know how the karma came to us, even that is not explained. Where is the question of saying how it goes? It has to come by the way it came. Uh, that's there. You know the story? A priest was going to temple. He saw a young boy carrying a lamp and going to the temple. So as you say, did you like this lamp? Who oh, was like this lamp? Yes, I like this lamp. Then you tell me, where from the flame has come in it? Immediately that boy, he just poo pooed over this. Poo. Then it got extinguished. He asked the priest, please tell me where the flame has gone now. I will answer you. Is it not so the important verse, the really important message here is how to get the fire to grow to that extent? Said, that is what is more important. After it then grows with that, what happens? It is only a concept. I will put that as a concept. The other one is practice. This is only a concept. So we will only use that much important. So she said, yeah, a fire which is grown very well. Whatever dry fuel you are putting in it, it is going to reduce them to all the ashes. I am. How it all it grew? It grew because you put some fuel in. Without the fuel it would not have grown. You put some fuel first. And when it grew then you put more of the fuel. It reduced them all. So similarly, It is this, that a little of the karmas, I mean a, a, a little of the jnana which you do, because you cannot do that much as you get. So the final one, the fire comes from the God's name. See, you put a small match stick, how it all it grew it as such a big fire. Definitely if you see, there is a divine power in it also. You have seen, so many houses and entire streets have gone to confrontation because somebody has put a small media cigarette uh, half burnt to that and it caught fire. Many, many such pieces uh, of arson have been burned by it. So how it is, even then you see it is a miracle I would say. For me it is a miracle I would say. Because a small man thing you put in and then it becomes a big confrontation. So that's how it happens. You do a little of jnana, a little of meditation, a little of prayer, that it helps it to grow to such an extent which you want. It is only a little that is required which should be capable of taking off. So that is one of the ideas which I have. So 
is it true then that what's also required is a little of the despondency, which is some experience of the world which makes you want to make the fire? Uh, naturally, so see, only when you get cold. Uh, uh, this one. In Bhagavad Gita, we said it earlier, Bhagavan Raman Maharshi was in the Rona Sahib in 1938. He was considered as uh, one of the uh, top most saints of the place because he was called Atyasa. According to the scriptures, Atyasa means beyond all Avadhutas, beyond all Paramahutas, beyond all Tanyasins, he is called Atyasa. So, he selected 42 slokas. The Bhagavad Gita contains 700 slokas. So, usme se wo bihali slok usme se chuti. And unhe ne kaha ki yehi uska samit substance ka saar itni me aani hai. The entire criticism, the essence of it is coming said. So, we have done about 20 and 20 more of that. So, this is the fourth of the ayah. 37th shloka. What happens? I renounce the by doing chant, meditation, by doing prayers, by doing all the sadhana, when the inside the knowledge comes. What is jnana? What is jnana? Here the word jnana or knowledge means the ultimate knowledge that this offer is the Number one, first thinking. We are thinking that this entire thing, including this body, is I. So from there you take it and say, no, you have nothing to do with the body mind complex. Body mind is jada, instant shape. And inside is the energy. It is the energy which makes the printing press work. It is the energy which makes the bulb work. It is the energy which makes the fan work. The fan is nothing. The bulb is nothing. It is the electricity. So the electricity in each bulb we call it the arm. Right? Then I will say, oh, very good. So there will be competition between this author and that author. So now you go to the next stage. There is no single electricity in this bulb. The same electricity is connected, it goes to that bubble. It goes to the, all the bubble, Malsa and Parasa and Parura. So there is only one electricity. That totality is electricity which comes from the generator. You call that Brahman. So the ultimate knowledge is, I am not the body, I am the Atman, but this Atman is the same as the Brahman. I am not an individual, I am the totality. Me koi akela koi Objective nahi ho, objectigat nahi ho, mein to ye samat, samat ni, usi mein ho, sare mein hi ho. So this is the call the ultimate knowledge. Yeni ye na ha jai, this doesn't come. You will still be having your sorrows. What is the purpose of knowing all these things? To remove all of our sorrows, to be in permanent action. So long as you, as I think, I am a different Atman and she is a different Atman. I will have so many problems. I will say she is my enemy because her father was my enemy. Her father's mother was my father's enemy. So as such, they are not to be enemy too. And she thinks she is greater. She always tells you, oh, you are not even born to yourself to stand I am an embassy. What did she think? So in so many ways you compare each one. Either you look at it, contempt somebody whom you think is less than you, or you have got an inferiority complex when somebody else is greater than you. So either way you become unhappy because somebody else is there. You get fear from somebody, oh, that fellow is a uh, decoy. If you know that you are the energy which sits in that decoy also and you are connected with it, then he will say it is I in that form. So nothing will happen. Like Rishabhadeva. Rishabhadeva when he goes into the forest in my soul. For the first time, 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 the first
one of the greatest of kings and he goes so abhibhak shamano bhi even that people are asking him swami ji that from have you come kaun se aaye hain in the reply and people think oh he is mad he is uh, uh, dumb so like that they think then they begin to throw stones throw dust throw rotten tomatoes and then whom they have to upar they are just uh, throwing that water from the mouth on him and to the highest extent is that who the gurukti vadi hi they are going and uh, uh, standing over his head somewhere and then they are causing you to over his head start all about that dush neem prabhuva this is like quite why bhayata anubhavat rupena he thought जो मेरे ऊपर घूमता है वो भी तो मैं हूं दे वन हु इज थ्रोइंग स्टोन सर्ट मी दे वन हु इज स्पीटिंग एट मी दैट ऑल्सो माई सेल्फ सो इससे क्या करना है यदि आप खाना खाते हुए आपका दांत आपकी जीप को काटा क्या आप दांत को खा कर कह देंगे क्या ये भी मेरा है ये भी तो मेरा है सो यही बात हो जाता है सो दैट इज दिफ्ट विषम देवा we receive that speech then is there so the first thing is the agni which you just the first you do it you only put a mask you only thoda tha hota hai and in a little while when you put more fear more fear more fear it grows it grows now what is the fear fear is the karma first we have to do some karma by putting the mask trick and all that so sitting doing prayers doing puja doing dhan is also a small karma by doing this small karma all the big karmas you have done in the past good and bad they are all negative then is that this is you put a little fear so you get into the karma only and then it grew into a very big one and the very karmas were reduced to ash the very fuel with which it started the very thoughts from which it started it reduces connection the same thing here that's what i mean so he say just like the fire which is grown it completely reduces to ashes bhasma sat karte reduces to ashes all the fuel which is put in it in the same way when once you get the jnana jnana is an agni because it burns it burns what it burns away all the karmas what is it matter if it burns away all the karmas how is it going to help you oh yet all you got uh dukha why did you get sorrows because i was born i was born i thought something is good i did some work but it brought me only unhappiness i thought I am having a small child. I am giving birth to a small child. He is going to be very good. On the contrary, he becomes a big boy. He runs somewhere, and uh, I get a bad name, and I am not able to show my face in the street. Everybody is asking, "Is that a boy or son?" They are asking me. So what they did for good, it ended in bad. So I got a sorrow. This would not happen if I was not born. So why are you born? You are born. because in the previous birth whatever good thing you did whatever you bad thing you did you should get that reward for the good thing this time i give 20000 rupees to kachi ashram see you feed all the people who come from narmada parikam now this is entered in the cosmic auditors lecture that swami shantananda gave 20000 rupees so i get some merit of good So in the next birth, the God sees me that I am born the son of a very big saint. So then I got all enjoyments. So for this reward purposes, I had to take another birth. On the contrary, in the last birth, I put somebody in jail unnecessarily. I went and killed one man. I went and wounded another chap at night. I wounded some great persons by just abusing them. So these are all the papas they have done. 
So the result is not given in the same form. Normally in the government, when the budget comes, they allot education department this much, this much. But later on you realize, no, no, I want another 20 crores more. They say, no, only next year it will be given. This year no more supplementary allotments. So in the same way, God has allotted some portion that is called the Prarambha. That is, out of the karmas of the past, he takes a portion and he allots it, sukha and dukha, good and bad. So you get some sorrows, you get some happiness because of the karmas you did in the past. So the happiness is the award or reward for the good work you did. And this sorrows or the punishment, sadha. So, jo hume bura kaam kiya tha, uski sadha bhagut kaam kiya tha. So this is how it comes. So the karmas both good and bad, both are bad for us because both of them are So how to do it? You have to do some karmas in this world. Either they will be good or they will be bad. So how to get rid of it? Only by this jnana. When you get this jnana, then I am not the individual who did it. It is the totality. Then who are you going to give? Then you distribute to all. My God, whatever I did then, you are distributed all. You can't give it to me alone. Is it not? So it will not be allotted to anybody. See, when you think I am a subject, so I am the, to be punished. And if I say the king was with me, and he also did the same thing along with me. Now who will be punished? The king also will get away and he also be There is what will happen. So, the first point from Gyanandri, what results? The moment you get, I am the Brahman, I am the totality, then the Karta Bhava and Bhokta Bhava, both these things look from Gyan. They go away. That is, I am the Guruya, I did good things. I did bad things that come on. Here, the result of it, you think. When you said, Narayana yet samarpayami, kayena vacha mansendritva, so whatever I did out of my hand, out of my words, out of my body, everything is Narayana's, I never beat. Kamo kaarki, manyura kaarki, namo See, um, some people are... So the anger did it. I never brought the anger, anger was not in my pocket. And the Kama was not in my pocket, aapne diya. So, you have to do So, you are responsible for not eating. You would have that. See, this can be done only when you know that I am not an individual, it is a totality. So long as you did well, you think I did, you are responsible. The kind of story is there around the world. Yes, there is a man who was keeping a big order, very nice order. One day the door was open. For cow came the child was eating them all. He got angry with that. It is a big stick he went in. He died of his fault. The Gohatya and Brahmatya are supposed to be similar. So having killed it, the effect of it came in the form of their ghost that called the Brahmatya Dosha. So the Brahmatya comes in the form of a devil with a, in black color and all that. And comes to the and says, you did that crime, I have to come and possess you, now in future you will be under me as the devil and He says, look here, stop this thing. Why, why are you catching me? You killed, I didn't kill. It is my hand which kills. And this Devaka in charge of the hand is Indra. So you go and catch Indra. <laughs> See, our body, every Indriya, there is one God who is supervising over him. So he is the one who is responsible for it. I is his Surya. Mind is Chandramavana Vrishati, then Chakshya, Chodya, Jayaka. So from the Chakshus only the Surya came from the cosmic form. So Chakshu is the Surya is in charge of the I. So he said, it is Indra who is in charge of my hand. Go and catch him. So the Brahmacharya goes to Indra, the Brahmin redirected me, you have killed that. What the hell? I never even knew that Brahmin. How could I kill that? He, he came. He took the form of Brahmin. He came to this Brahmin. He just entered the house. Huh? Oh my Lord, what a rose! 
have never seen it anywhere. The Brahmin was very busy. He came near. See, this group does not belong here. I brought it from a kindly. I, I did it. I brought the food. I put it every day. Oh my God. See this. Oh my God. What a beautiful flower. White, red and blue. Come by. Where did you get it? I brought it from Dharma. Not it. I I felt it, felt it broad. I put it here. So I everything. Yes, the entire this thing was known by me. Oh, then he immediately called him. Just standing behind him, I know. So he called the Brahmanja. You get this rascal. See everything he did with his hand. Only this he did know what Indra did. <laughs> <laughs> so that is what happened. So the point is, he wanted to leave off that I did enjoy it too. I did it because I was being inspired in the totality. I never did it. See, in a, in a printing machine, it doesn't choose. Today I am going to print the book of Shantaranda. Does it? It is the electricity which comes. Somebody from somewhere uh, put something over there and then it begins to work. The printing machine is not responsible. If the printing machine were later on to say, I did the entire book of Shantaranda, I know how beautifully I have done it, I only printed it. Then all the mistakes that I will say, you pretty well, you are responsible for it. The printing machine, I will put in the paper, the printing machine is useless, don't bring any books to this printing machine, it does everything wrong. <laughs> That's what I will do. <laughs> so that is why the Bhokta Bhav is wrong. The Karta Bhav is gone, then all the things which are given, what happens to you? Whatever karma we have done, there are four types of karma. The first type of karma is called, whatever actions we do, they have been categorized into four. The first one is called Nitya Karma, second one is called the Dhyamitika Karma, the third one is called the Kame Karma, the fourth one is called Prashtika Karma. What is Nitya Karma? Nitya Karma means every day you have to do certain actions. You have to pray, you have to do Sanyabhana, you have to go and stand and give Arjya three times. You take the water and give it to the towards the Lord Surya. So, and then you have to tell so many times, 108 times minimum, you have to do the Gayatri, Om Bhur, 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 you have to do that. So, like this, for each category of people, there are prescribed. Karmas. They are called Nitya Karma or unavoidable daily duty. Then Naitya Karma, see the supposing a child is born, then you have to do certain actions, certain karma, call the tree and you have to do some havan. And uh, so they are called Jata Karma, the one who is born, for whom you have to do certain things. Then when somebody gets married, then you have to do something. So at that time of marriage, at that time of funeral, at that time when he gets the first son, he's called Simasa. The first son of the daughter who he gets is very, very important. So, uh, because that represents, uh, he is the one who is going to bring faith to you or bring defense to you, information to you. So as this, uh, when the karma is done, so everything is considered as a holy occasion, we have to do certain karma to purify, from time to time we purify things. So then we always go towards perfection, we always go towards purity, so these karmas are being done. But these were not done daily, so these were done occasionally or seasonally. So they are called naivitika karma, nimitta, tithi nimitta, on some circumstances of the nature. Then the third one comes, kamya karma. Kamya karma means you have some desire, I have a desire to yearn, so I got my big arm and I became a clerk. In a, in a firm. So this was Kamya Karma. My study, my going to the college, then my going to, uh, going to a firm and then working there. So all these things where you yearn for money, I am doing a business, I am a principal at a college, so I am a doctor, I am an engineer, these are all Kamya Karma. So Kamya Karma are duties which you have undertaken for fulfillment of your desires. They are not prescribed in the way. They are not a must. They are not on the contrary. All the Vedas they deny. But they allow you. If you are a householder, uh, 
you can do it yavat bhyanti chakra so that extent where you will be able to eat and your family will be okay that much you have to do but if you eat more tab se no danda bhakti in bhagavata is come if anybody eat much more than what he required for his family and for his guests then he becomes the thief and he has to be punished that is why bodhi dharma one of the greatest of the when he went to china the king saw it as very brilliant he said look here i don't want to propagate the buddha dharma i want to put you as a judge because i was doing the work i can't do both the affairs of a king as well as a judge you are very brilliant you are very wise so you will be the judge he said look here i don't come for that no no I tell you, you can get out. So he has come for the first time from China, from India. He was the king of Karachi, and then he became a Buddha bhikshu. He was the first one to go to India. Then the first case that comes, that they invite him. Yet he was born with rich man's songs and bundles and houses, and he has taken up the silver lamp. He was caught in the hand. The police has brought him along with the sun, and the rich man has come. They don't take it. Immediately, Guru Dharma says, "One year jail for the thief. Yes, very good. And one year jail for this rich man." She says, "Sir, you have understood the case. This rich man is the victim. This is the fellow who thinks he is advertised very much. The rich man is the friend of the king. He immediately sent word to the king, 'You come here. This good fellow is doing something to me. You want to put me in the jail.'" Okay. Second is called the minister, the minister. What third is called the karmika. And karmika means two or three, two three parts. Ista and purusha. What is ista? Ista means yajati. That is yaga. They are called ista. That is in the olden days, people used to do a lot of yaga. Somebody recorded a son. She did uttar karmika yaga. Somebody wanted to go to swarga. She did so many yoga, yoga so much. So the Kama, yoga Kama, he did that. In the Veda, he comes the one who wants to go to Swarga, yoga so much. Or, uske alawa bhi, yagri amavasya, yagri pavnami, he used to do in yoga. Yeah, forever that. So it's called Darsha Purnama Sri Yoga. So he was doing so many, and there were yajna separately for Vaishya. It was called Vaishya so much. So for everybody, there was this yoga, this thing, and. Uh, Ashwamedha and Rajasuya were made only for Shastya, and today everybody does every yajna. Uh, that uh, Gayatri Parivar they did twice Ashwamedha yajna because they got 15 crores, 30 crores, under crores. So for crores they do Ashwamedha. These people have got no nothing to do it at all. They have no heart to do it at all. Only those who have. Already done this much of conquest and who has got minimum this much area of data, it is meant for Shastya and never for anybody else. For each there is a special one. So here is the bit of story. Yes, Shastra is a must be done. Whether they are or Yaga and Vidya are meant only in Shastra is nowhere given. It is not given in physics. It is not given in chemistry. It is only in Vedic scripture. So the various scriptures are come for you who the various scriptures they start are by they are not. उसमें ये लिखा हो सोलह पीस लाओ तब आप सत्रह लोग ला नहीं सकते और ये कम नहीं ला सकते इट इज जस्ट लाइक दैट वेन यू आर डीलिंग विथ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इफ समी से यू वेर लेदर ग्लोव यू से मेरे पास ऐसा नहीं कि लेदर ग्लोव लो मैं तो गोदर को लूंगा देन यू लाइक शॉक विल कम सो यू हैव टू गो अट दॉक्स सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी सिंपल सो काम ये करना इज इट दैट Then what is called the purusha? What is purusha? And the purusha comes all sharing. I go to a village. I got no water to drink. I I build the dam, a big dam, so the water will come from the hundred feet. And I give to them. I build some uh, wells in some villages. I install some few wells, and I install some eating khana for uh, what is called orphanages. I set up some orphanages. I send some blind school. I give thirty thousand rupees for running an ashram, forty thousand rupees for uh, for poor people. All these are all good. But 
all these commanders, Swami Karma, these were all disdicted. Why did you do it? You wanted a name. You wanted a fame. You wanted the rest of the paper should say that Parane says we ne 20 lakh crore rupees kachi asam ko de ya. Ab yahan bhi kar dena. Dekho, board mein daal dena niche. Mera sahi kisi kiri dena. So nahi toh jo dusra kari samjhe nahi. So wahan par bhi toh. So we do it as a for name and fame. Or we want to catch in the other world. So if I give now, I will get a balcony seat in front. Not first class or third class. Balcony seat will get. Yeah. Most of it will get. So it is known that way. So these are all called Kami Karmasati. None of them is a must according to Chakra. Because as I said, whether you do good or bad, you are going to be caught. Again and again, you are going to have the chakra of Janam Maran, Janam Maran. So, every Janam Maran, one thing for you, you are born and you will do hundred other things again. Hundred good things, hundred bad things. Again, you will say, where do you go? See, you do it for one purpose. And you got a body. When only you got a body for one day, you are going to be hundred feet more. Some good, some bad. Again, you are going to. So, it's a continuous mission of sorrows and so called the joy. So there is no purpose there is that. But why then they give all these things first initially? It was because. So that you may not go down. Otherwise, you will have, if koi niyam nahi hai, koi rule nahi ho, then everybody murdered, everybody murdered his own father, murdered his own brother, murdered everything, anything, and anybody's money they will take. Now you say this is God's money, this is our elder. You should not make them suffer. You should do puja. Thus, they ensure that the older days, uh, nobody was looking after the older people. There was no old age home, nothing was there. So, people had to. So, unless it's a law, you won't do that also. So, come and get this. So, for society, for the serious purposes, these rules were fixed. But when you go spiritually, you have to go through Hogya, then if you want Moksha, you want to get rid of this. Gentlemen, once for all, then you have to leave the good work as well as the bad work. That can be done only when you have to do some work. But you say, I don't take that mission not because I wanted to pass. My father told, my great father told that the Lord has made me do this work. So it is not my Naraya Hari. So when I want you to do it, and that is the best way of doing any work. Not to get caught. Do the work, but don't get caught. आप कर लीजिएगा उसमें फंसी है लगा फंसी है तो ये तभी कर सकते हैं जब अपना भोक्ता पर अपना कर्ता पर दोनों को छोड़ दिया उसने ये तो समर्थी में हो रहा है मैं कुछ नहीं करता हूँ तो वहीं से सब कुछ करता है ये तो समर्थी का वेल है या वेल इस बार किसी पर है इस पर पीछे का वेल में पीछे का वेल पीछे ना आगे जाने वाले हम पीछे जाने वाले वहाँ से धक्का देते हैं भैया हम आ रहे हैं और यहाँ से कुछ आए ये भी धक्का दे दिया हम करो इधर जा रहे हैं उधर जा रहे हैं मेरे पास क्या नहीं है तो वो ही समझ आ रही है तो क्या लेते हैं समझती में क्या है याना भी ही तब गर्माणी तब सुपाक करते हैं all these karma is over. Then in this karma again, the last one I didn't tell you, that's all the crimes in the karma. Suppose you have done some crime, some papa. For every papa, for removing it, there are so many crashes, so many, what you call, expiation ceremony, expiation rituals, have been prepared. Some of them are. Supposing, I told you a big lie, as a result of which somebody got a meeting. Then, it is said, if it's a monk in his cell, if he does 1,001 or 1 lakh gratuitous karma, then go on. So this is called a practice of karma. Doing 1,000 gratuitous. It is an experience. Similarly, for known and unknown, we are eating right. We don't know. Unknown to us, some very small worms might have come up. They would also have been cooked. So we have collected some papa by eating them to know it. So known and unknown various things are there for this purpose. We take up some vrata, some vows. They are called Krishna, Chandra, or Raja Pratya. 
from this around that. In Chandrayana, what you do, you say, from this Purnima, from the first day of Prasami, I will take 15 colors, 15 handfuls of rice I will eat. The next day only 14, the next day 13, next day 12. Then by the time you reach Amavasya, you will take on the last day of Nima. And again, you start increasing. Two, three, four. So like that you think it, then you start the Chandra. Just like the Chandra is coming on the fitness every day, and then you start. In the same way you think, you start the Chandra. So like that there are various products that have been prescribed. Then certain small formats have been prescribed. Say, Nakshatra Bhoma, Ganavati Bhoma. So like that for expiration ceremonies, Rajya Purupena, there are so many rituals that have been prescribed. Then it's called the Rajya Purupena. This is that. This also is not accepted by us. Because why should you commit to sin and then go in for Parashita? You don't commit to sin at all. So that is what the Shastra says. Shastra do not say you commit to sin and go. Then everybody will say, already there is sense, I will be a man and then I will go and do some. Uh, 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 she heard the sound of uh, all the cows crying at night from the Gosala. Because pitch dark, you know, all the things that are so electric. She took his soul and went at night. She suddenly could get a glimpse of the tiger. So wherever she thought there was a tiger, he took his soul and just put it. But unluckily, it caught a cow by that time the tiger had escaped the cow. So now he has to take crying. So she has to do your task. So like that, things can happen. Unknowing. For that purpose, the CBS can. Then, we don't see a man in karma, it's reaction. If you have done a good karma, you have to get a reward. If you have done a bad karma, you have to get. Now, this results of karma, the punya and papa will come. The punya is what you good things what you have done. So bad things the result is called the papa of sin. That is called the merit, which is called the punya papa. Now, these karmas have to be allotted, these effects have to be allotted in future terms, the good and bad. For that purpose, maybe, we have divided them into three. That is, whatever you have done in the past, in the previous verse, the month before, the entire thing has not been cut to. It is given as Sarada little by little. If all the bad things is to be in one verse, if you are to get the results in the next verse, every day you will come in future, you can't die. So God in his mercy gives only the real truth. And even further, he say, hi, 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 we are giving it. But he gives only one tenth of what we should. In that doesn't matter, we will give it in the next verse, next verse, next verse when he gets fitter. That is why the more spiritual you are, you get more problems, more trouble. The Lord says, now he is fit, so give him the balance. So you get more. See, otherwise, why should the uh, very good people should get uh, uh, what do you call cancer, Ramachandra got cancer, Raman Manshi got cancer, and so many people have got cancer, we should take it. Why? I don't get this way. She doesn't get this way. We should he get it. Okay. They a good person. Why should he be? So these are all like that. So what is the uh, reservoir of the past work effects, karma effects, which have not been exhausted, that is called a sanchita. Sanchita means accumulated and kept in reservoir. So in reservoir one, you keep all the balance of the karma of past work. Then, now you are going to do some fresh action. So, the good and bad, whatever you are doing in this work, let us be allowed to do Right? The point is in every work, the portion is Pravastha. 20% is Pravastha, the rest are performed. The rest 80 is fresh action which you are doing. But that way should be now so, you have got the free will to do, but you don't know what else to do. Whatever action you make, it leaves an impression. That's all the work. I terminate a mantra, so I like to do mantra. Then it becomes a case. So mantra, oh, mantra, 20 minutes. That's why a man who mantra is doing mantra is 20. 
The first person is difficult. Mm. Then afterwards it will be. Mm. First then I take somebody's property as the feeling. But if I come to enter it twice, then it becomes the normal. Abhyas. Abhyas. That's what happens. So, whatever is now you are hearing, this karma to your people, these are put separately in a, in a separate reservoir. And then it's called a Kriyamana. Kriyamana means that it is now being done. And then, in the next birth, on 1st of April, the beginning of the financial year, God transferred this reservoir to the Kogu reservoir and keeps it free for the next birth. Because this is only a temporary reservoir. You should know what is the expenditure in this birth, in this one, uh, in this year. So whatever is the balance of God, is kept separately. So it is the same thing to stand there. We have learned from God. Or God learned from us. We don't know. It is like that. So, then, out of that, what was allowed for us? The Sukhas and Sukhas. Because of the Papas and Sukhas, for this part, he called it Jnana. Here, even though he said, by Jnana, all the balance is all burnt out. So that in future, you will have no more birth than that. You get Moksha. This is what he did. When all he says all the karmas are burnt, it is because of the karmas you take birth, you get a body. When all the karmas are gone, you won't take any birth. So you get an automatic moksha. There's a reason nothing remains for you. No karmas to come. You get purified. And you cannot be known that I am the Brahman, you become that. So there is no question of individual. You are no longer Shantaranda, you are no longer Ram, you are no longer going. You are no longer uh, made so no So, what they say is, when they say all the karmas are burnt, the total reservoir is burnt, the Kriyamana which is now being done is burnt, but the Prarata which has been already allotted in your, this work, it cannot be burnt, it has to be destroyed. How? Two or three examples are true. One example is, the doctor said, from today don't eat jilemi. I kept talking to the lady at home. He was daily, I want to take some, cannot take all. So, beyond the doctor has told, you can throw away those thousand jilemi which are there. That is called Sanchita. Right? And for today or morning, I kept in my table some food. And that is Kriyamana. That also I can throw away. But what about the two jilemi which you have already eaten some 10 minutes back? Then you got catch it and bring it back. It is already gone inside. Mm -hmm. So it has to go. It has to do its work. So we have to suffer. That portion you can't help. So that is how we plan that one. Then another example of this thing is, I have burnt all the arrows which I have bought. I said from tomorrow, non-violence, I am not going to keep any arrow or brush. Darush part may pass me here. So whatever I have kept here, I have burnt it off. Whatever I was about to put, which was in my district as Priyamana, that also I burnt. But already I have left one bond. It has already gone. It has to go and fall. I got to go and catch all the fish to get back. And that is called the Paramsha. This is the second example. So these are the two examples which are given to show that Prarabdha also has to Prarabdha alone Bhogani Padega. That is why this is the same. This according to some topmost Mahatmas, which are not written in books, but because they are considered very secret, they don't believe it. For instance, Brahman Maharshi said, what foolishness? A man had three wives. He died. Then will you say two of his wives have become widows, but one is still a smoker? This is the example he has given. Jab ek aapi bhar gaya, uske teen bivya hai. Aap ek ki do do widow ho gaye hai, aur ye kabhi smoker hi hai. Ye kaise ho sakta hai? So jab ye bhi bharna hoga, kyun? You see, you don't know all the three. So either that means all the three karmas should be over. You cannot say that two of them are dead.
it, but you don't know it's alive, you cannot see it. See, analogy is not the example, it's not the best way of proving it. By analogy, you can prove white is black, black is white. God is man or man is God. Anything you can prove. So that is why it's limited. That's why you can't put anger in But we are not so concerned. Let us do it. And then we will see whether two God or three God will see it later. First, let us tell you that we are not. Have a good practice. So that is why. So if you are not seeing it, you are not going to do it. You are not going to do it. The idea is that the fire that blow into the factory yeah. to burn the fuel. Yeah. It could continue to grow from birth to birth. Because if it doesn't grow sufficiently, some fuel is remaining. And in other words, it all happens by degrees. The no, no. See, first thing they are told in Hamsi. Yes, Hamsi means night you help. Yet right here it will take one second for the all to be burnt, it will take its time. If you had put partly wet wood, then you will say somewhere in mind. Here that is why they use the word Yadhamsi. Yadhamsi means Shushka Pashtani. So it means absolutely right. But so, so again, you, you pay no concern with the fuel. You work on building the fire. You work on building the fire. So don't bother, you leave it with that spark. You don't see fire from, you don't see, oh, I am this number. Who is going to worry? You tell me, when I have reached the totality, I have the total. These are all for others, these are not for the person who is going to. Let me digress one before we move on to two. If you're not even concerned with understanding that that's going to be used, you, you just work on the meditation, the job. You, you, you work on it. And then you reach a stage where you know this entire thing is only a drama, is only a dream, is some sapna hai. So you just remain quiet and afterwards. So nothing accrues to you. Whatever is done, is done just like a dry leaf. A dry leaf, it cannot move anywhere. But supposing a cosmic wind comes, a storm comes, then what will happen? This goes. And in the sun, do well. In the sun, when the small rope is just born, it is suffering because it can't move. This leaf goes and falls over. Then you say, the Goma Hassan, how impressive he is, he has gone and he is suffering. He didn't do it. It is out of the cosmic program where the storm has come and taken it. It never did anything. It just flew from there and fell down. That is what happened. So when all the stage comes, you do nothing, you remain as you walk. The world is gone for you as far as you are concerned. You may still see. You may still see. Because I told you the case. You have got a tank, half full of water, with a straight iron rod. I put it inside, half up, half down, half in the water, half up. Then I see you. That is not straight inside, it just went by the water out here. See, we take the one. Again you take it and see, it is straight. So now you have got the jar, it is straight, but when you put it, it is still the water. So now you have got the jar, so now in the paper tiger, this tiger will not bite you. So you know the word, now this word will not catch you. The world will have more effect on you, but still the world remains. This is the way of time. Okay.